Like other chronic diseases, like heart disease or asthma, treatment for drug addiction usually isn't a cure. But addiction can be managed successfully. Corey O'Donnell Bachmiller is living in recovery and joins us to explain more about this lifelong process. Corey, I'm just really excited to have you here uh, to share what you do to, to maintain your process of recovery. This, this part of the program, we're, we're really just talking about the recovery phase. Mm -hmm. um, so there's treatment, there's the crisis, there's treatment, and, and then someone gets engaged into a recovery process and start living life. Um, so I wanted you just to share a little bit first to kind of people to understand what prompted you to even take that step into treatment and, and, and get on this journey? Um, so what prompted me, um, there was a few things, I guess. Um, I, this last time around that I entered in recovery, um, which is now about four and a half years ago, um, my finding out that I was going to be a parent was obviously my biggest motivating factor. Um, the other part of that was I was involved um, in the early intervention program um, and I had the opportunity to have a clean slate um, as far as my record goes, um, which was really appealing to me because um, I have a college education. Um, I really wanted a future for myself um, and I wanted that future to not include um, my criminal history. Um, so that was a motivating factor. And then the other part of that was uh, I really, really longed to have a relationship um, with my family again. Um, I'm, I have a really close family. I'm really blessed in that um, regard. Um, and that also really motivated me towards recovery. Um, some point along the way, I eventually started doing it for myself, um, but there was definitely like a lot of external motivating factors that got me um, moving in the first place before I found it within myself to keep on going. If somebody is, is watching and they're just in that stage of maybe thinking about going to treatment or maybe they've just gotten out of treatment, maybe they're uh, attending 12-step meetings, maybe living in a sober home. What are some of the things that you do on a regular basis that that help help keep you in this in this process? Um, for me, this time around in particular, um, I did a few things to stay in recovery. Um, I attended 12-step meetings. Um, the other component that I added was therapy, um, and I'm a huge advocate for that. Um, I attend at weekly therapy sessions along with 12-step uh, meetings for the first couple years um, that I was in recovery. Um, that kind of just gave me, um, helped me work through some issues um, on a professional level um, and I personally really needed that. Um, the other part of it was um, just building positive connections uh, with family, friends, um, surrounding myself with people who had similar goals in mind um, in life. Um, I'm definitely consider myself a goal-oriented person um, in that if I want a career, um, I focus on that. If I want um, a family back in my life, I focus on that. Um, if I want school in my life, I focus on that. Um, if I want to be the best wife and mother I can be, I focus on that. Um, and I really just try to keep that on the forefront of my mind at all times. Um, and that just kind of um, serves me to keep on going, even on the days that maybe things are really tough and I don't necessarily feel like it. I just kind of keep those goals at the forefront, um, and that keeps me driven. That's really, that's, 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 it's awesome to hear you talking that way. And, and for me, knowing a lot of, of the history prior to getting into to treatment and, and seeing you today, it's just, I mean, it, it, it's one of the best things about being uh, in recovery and being able to witness and see stuff like this. So I, I really love hearing, hearing uh, how good you're doing. One of the, one of the other things I, I wanted to bring up is I think there's a misconception, two misconceptions, that people in recovery struggle every day 
to not use. I think that's a misconception and, and you can touch on that. And the other thing is that there's not a lot of fun things to do when you get into recovery. Can you touch on, a, on those two things? Sure, um, as far as struggling every day, um, I definitely don't think that's true. Um, I think that I have normal problems just like every normal person has. Um, I have bad days, I have good days, um, but I would by no means consider that a struggle. Um, I have coping skills now um, that allow me to handle bad days um, the way that somebody um, would that doesn't abuse drugs or alcohol. Um, meaning that if I experience a really terrible event like a death um, or job loss or um, I don't know, a, another sudden loss that I was un, like wasn't expecting. Um, I have supports, um, I have resources, I have things in place in my life that allow me to handle those. Um, I, I don't think it's a struggle every day because if it was, I don't really think anybody would ever want to get clean and sober. I, I agree. Um, and, I think the, the, the biggest hurdle really is just getting through detox. and. Yeah we build it up to be this really, really tough challenge and, and maybe our mind makes it out to be that way. Um, but once you get on the other side of that detox, whether it's a week, two weeks, however long it is, really minuscule time, time period in yes. the scheme of things, um, it's not that bad after that and that's probably the biggest struggle to overcome. Yeah. Um, and I wish I would have just listened earlier on and allowed myself to get over that tiny little period of time um, to open the doors to this amazing period of time. Yeah. Um, the next question about fun in recovery, um, I think the, the biggest part of that is just being fully present for all the experiences that you have in recovery. Um, the things that are I've gotten to experience in recovery that are most meaningful to me um, are getting married, um, being a mom, um, like really big life events that I probably would have missed out on or maybe not fully remembered or been there for um, mentally if I would have still been um, using drugs. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I think is really cool is that there's so many um, recovery-based events. Um, there's also regular events like yeah. football games, baseball games, uh, golf, um, uh, like normal daily activities that you are still able to participate in um, just without putting a drug or drink in your body. Um, just because you get sober doesn't mean you have to become boring. That's, and I, I think it's, it's really important that people hear that. I just wanna really thank you for being a part of this, being open, sharing about what your journey is in recovery so that other people can, can see that it can be done and it's not a struggle every day and we and we do recover. Thanks a lot, Corey. Thank you for having me. As we have heard, the chronic nature of substance use disorder means that for some people, relapse or a return to drug use after an attempt to stop can be part of the process. However, it's important to understand that because addiction affects so many aspects of a person's life, recovery is an ongoing experience.